this question, we're supposed to find the domain. Now there's two rules for domain. One of them is if you take a square root or any even root, it's gotta be positive or zero inside. We have no square roots here, so don't worry about that rule. We could definitely be dividing by zero. So let's look at where that could happen in the denominator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for bad x's. So we're intentionally setting the denominator equal to zero. Okay, how do we solve this? There's three ways to solve quadratics. Complete the square, which I'm not gonna do because 17 is not even. You can complete the square easily when your middle term is even, you won't have fractions. Uh, we can try factor and get lucky or quadratic formula. I'm gonna factor and get lucky. Quadratic formula is a good backup, but the numbers are gonna get really big. So let's try and see if we can factor this. All right, 70. The first way I thought of it factoring is seven times 10. It also factors into 14 times five, but I can already see the seven times 10 when we use that. So seven times 10 is 70 and 7x plus 10x is 17x, so this is the factoring right here. So the zero product property, either the first term, x plus seven equals zero, or the second term, x plus 10 equals zero, uh, subtract seven, x equals negative seven, or x equals negative 10. All right, these are all bad x's. So what are the good x's? They're all the other ones. Uh, good x's are all the other x values. All right, we'll use the number line. Negative seven, negative 10. Negative numbers are always hard to think about because the what I think of as the bigger one is always on the left. Of course, it's the technically smaller one or the more negative one. So these are the bad numbers you don't wanna choose. So we're gonna choose all the rest. So here we go, anything less than negative 10, anything between negative 10, negative seven, and anything bigger than negative seven. So how do we write this? This is a union, negative infinity to negative 10. You don't include negative 10, so you need to put a parenthesis around negative 10, and we start at negative 10, but again, don't include negative 10. Go to negative seven, and then start again at negative seven, go to positive infinity. So this will be our domain of this function. The numerator didn't matter in the domain. The numerator has a big effect on the graph, but it doesn't matter for the domain. The domain is just what x values you should you not plug in, and it's all the ones that would make us divide by zero, which we just checked, and there we go.